to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see more home, holiday, event, wedding, and DIY decor. Today, I have a gender neutral baby shower centerpiece and setup. Here we go. shower centerpiece gender neutral for all the mommies that don't want to know the gender of their baby until birth and I fell in love with the idea of an air balloon centerpiece and here's my version of it let's get started the very first thing I'm going to do is put my lantern together I got mine online and these are very inexpensive I got them for about a dollar to a dollar fifteen uh, but I did buy them in bulk so the more you buy the less the price kind of deal uh, but you can also find these at Party City I believe they have a three pack for $6.99 and I also saw them at Amazon for a 14 pack for $10.99 so if you're making more than one centerpiece that will be ideal so all you have to do is just place this metal part in the middle of the lantern so just open the lantern up and then you are going to put it through here and you are going to secure it putting it through those two little holes there and that's it and this is going to serve as my balloon next I'm going to embellish my lantern or I should say my hot air balloon with ribbon um, I went ribbon crazy at uh, Michael's yesterday. They were all 50% off. And this is their um, Easter collection, so you can find them right now. I love ribbons. <laughs> I have a large collection, and I'm going to be adding these to my collection. Anyway, um, I'm going to be using the um, white ribbon with um, gold glitter polka dots. Look how pretty that is. I love polka dots. I'm sure you have noticed that as well. So I'm going to make a few stripes around the um, lantern. And um, I think I'm doing about four, maybe six. We'll see. For this part here, if you find yourself needing to place a ribbon here, uh, you are going to cut right through the middle, just a bit, and then you will glue it as so, okay? working on the bottom of my centerpiece which is usually a basket when it comes to balloons but I'm going to be using this 4.2 inch paper mache box that I got from Michaels I'm going to dispose of the lid I'm not going to use it and I'm also going to use four wooden dowels that are going to hold the uh, balloon together or in my case my lantern together uh, so I'm going to place this here. These are going to serve as the ropes and um, the key of this to hold the lantern up is that um, all four dowels will meet in the middle here as so to hold the uh, lantern together. But these must touch each corner of the box. So you are going to glue them in a way where uh, the bottom of the uh, dowel will touch each corner as so okay so you will have to glue all four of them like this to glue the wooden dowels inside the box you are going to need a permanent glue like e6000 i've been using this go-to glue that i found at home depot i really like it because you know it's very easy to pour and uh, it bonds in 30 minutes but E6000 is the glue that everyone trusts and if you're more familiar with it, I recommend that you use that. 
And I'm also going to use my hot glue gun so it can hold the dowel as the glue dries. a few pieces of this floral foam to place inside the box so I can start on my floral arrangement. You can also do this step prior to gluing the dowels, but since I love to make my life complicated, uh, I did it after, but everything went well, so. I'm going to use this beautiful bouquet of ivory roses from Michaels. They were 50% off of $10, so I got them for five bucks. I painted a second bouquet in metallic gold and I'm just going to add a few to the arrangement. Now I'm going to add this beautiful lacy burlap ribbon to the top of the box. I'm going to place it all around here just to bring it out a little bit. Next I'm going to place my lantern over my arrangement and I'm just going to place it over and you know just make sure that it's aligned wherever you want the ribbons to show. Now I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue to the dowels so it can help the lantern stand straight. Next I'm going to make sandbags out of this white burlap ribbon and I'm going to hang one on each side. This is going to be very easy. And by the way, this happens to be a wire ribbon uh, and that's what was on sale, that's why I got it. But you can use any ribbon to make this. Burlap will be best. Uh, so I'm just going to fold it in half, okay? You're gonna measure how much you will want or how long the bag is going to be. I want it about this long. So I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm going to cut. And then I'm going to glue the ribbons together on the side. And here's my first sandbag or sack. Um, you can add rice to it or some tissue to make it puff out a little bit. I'm just going to add a little bit of tissue. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of this rope ribbon to tie the bag. And here it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and place it right in front of here. And I'm going to do the same with all four sides. to use this round cutting board and small vase from Dollar Tree to make a stand for my air balloon. Basically what I want to do is um, have the air balloon sit on top of clouds. So what I'm going to do is place or glue the uh, small vase right on top of here and I'm going to add a fiber fill to the cutting board. Okay guys, this is it. This is my air balloon, gender neutral, baby shower centerpiece, and I absolutely love it. 
I am cheesing from ear to ear. <laughs> I love it. I think it's adorable. As you can see, I added the rope ribbon in between the polka dot ribbons to fill in the empty spaces. The cloud is obviously optional. It's totally up to your taste. I decided to add it for the sake of being different because I've seen the centerpiece before and I wanted to make it my own. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet do it right now also leave me a comment let me know what you thought of my centerpiece and leave me a comment anyway because I love to chit chat with you guys all the time all right guys until next time bye